To begin using the HMS Plus, turn on the power with the switch on the back of the machine and let it boot up. Upon initialization, the first thing that you should do is enter some patient parameters. Start by entering the patient ID and then enter the patient's sex, height, and weight as well as the prime volume of the circuit. These parameters are necessary for the HMS Plus to be able to accurately calculate a heparin dose. Then select the electronic QC cartridge, insert it into the machine, and press start. Let the electronic QC run. This will take several minutes. When it is finished, remove the electronic QC cartridge. Then select the heparin dose response or HDR cartridge and insert it into the machine. Expel a small amount of blood to remove any air. Remove the cap from the syringe and insert the syringe into the machine. Close the lever and press start. Press start a second time to continue. The machine will now begin to generate the HDR curve. To remove the syringe, open the lever, draw back slightly on the plunger, and pull out the syringe. The HDR cartridge has six wells, two with no heparin, two with 1.5 units of heparin per milliliter, and two with 2.5 units of heparin per milliliter. By running an ACT on each set of wells, the machine is able to calculate a relationship between the heparin concentration and the ACT. In this fashion, the machine can generate a target heparin concentration by extrapolating at what point the concentration would result in an ACT of 480 seconds. The machine will also display the baseline ACT based on the two wells without any heparin as well as give you the calculated heparin dose for the patient. Round the target heparin concentration generated by the HDR up to the next 0.5 milligrams per kilogram and choose an appropriate heparin assay cartridge in which that target ACT falls in the middle of its range. The heparin assay cartridges work by utilizing various known quantities of protamine in each of its wells. By comparing this information with the known quantities from the HDR curve, the HMS Plus is able to accurately calculate the current heparin concentration. It can also use this information to give you the required heparin dose to maintain the target heparin concentration. You will also want to run a high range ACT. This cartridge works by using kaolin as an activator for factor 12. As with all of the other cartridges, the machine will raise the flags in the cartridge and based on the resistance will determine a point at which clotting has been achieved. In this case, the, the ACT is accurately calculated. Insert the heparin assay cartridge into the machine and do the same for the ACT cartridge. Press start on the machine and then press start again to continue. The machine will now dispense blood into each of the wells and let the machine run and generate the heparin concentration and ACT. When the machine is finished, you will see the heparin concentration, here it's listed at 3 milligrams per kilogram, and the total amount of heparin that is requested for the patient. In this case, it's almost 12,000 units. You can also check the necessary protamine dose to reverse the heparin on board. Here it is 284 milligrams.